Say y'all say I'm in the middle of an interview with Don't Be Afraid Media, the next tip channel on YouTube. So I'm gonna gotta call you back. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you just stay like a skipper. About to go interview Charleston White. All right. What are we doing today? We're gonna go interview Charleston White today. Are you excited? Yeah. Do you know what you're going to ask him? Yeah, I got lots of questions. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Alright, let's go. We made it. He's just going to go inside and ask. But I did prepare everything for him. So it's literally all on my computer. Let's see what he's saying. Let me call his assistant. Cause it was open. Nah, I didn't even try to open. It just looks it looks empty. Okay, so we're gonna call guys. So we'll check out. <laughs> yeah, but if it stops, just tell him, yeah, tell him come on back. Then. Yeah, yeah, tell him come on back. So yeah, uh, so uh, y'all make sure y'all go subscribe. You say you only got how many one video up? I got yeah two videos. Yeah two videos up. But this video we're finna do some numbers. All he gotta do is just put some good. Good, good clickbait titles in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, go back and watch the video and then take some of that wild crazy shit that I say throughout the video and put it in the title. Mm -hmm. Oh man, mm -hmm. that means gonna go wild. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna let y'all check. <laughs> yeah, let me see y'all get the boys right there, man. I'm going and yeah, then you gotta hit that. You gotta you speak corn, Spanish. You eat corn tortillas or flour? <laughs> I eat both them motherfuckers. Oh, okay. Uh, that's Tex Mex shit. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I eat corn like the real mess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, corn better for you. Yeah, yeah, I eat corn tortillas. Yeah. Uh, and I eat, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna say what else I eat. Oh, you got Mexican babies, so you yeah, know. Yeah, I got Mexican babies. Yeah, what's up? Feliz Navidad! What's up? It's Don't Be Afraid Media with Charleston White. <laughs> Doing my first inter interview here at a. Uh, uh, old gun, old guns. Is that yeah, how you say yeah. it? Old gun. Old gun. Old guns. Gun. This is where Charleston White get all, all the straps, bro. Yeah, yeah. Now, now listen. I, I thought this was the Mexican cartel trying to set me up to come get me uh, by me saying Mexicans got little dicks. So I said, man, <laughs> just in case it's the cartel, shit, we gonna meet at the gun store and shoot it out. Cause I know they got an army that shoot it out with the army to make them release Chapo songs. So I know we go out the yeah, problem. Yeah. So I said, shit, let us go down here to this gun store. Yeah, so shit, that's where we at doing interviews today instead yeah. of studio. Hey, yeah. Sorry about that gun store on. I, 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 I ain't even y'all. I just, I want to let y'all know I bring the Mexican cartel down. Oh, oh, hey, hey you need to come fuck with them though. They got everything here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two, two of the only black gun distributor supplies in North Texas. So yeah, shout out to them brothers. Yeah, that's what I'm surprised about, bro. Yeah, this is my third Mexican interview. This is my third Mexican interview, y'all. So, so we're gonna make this a binder. Yeah. Shout out to Jalino Sunshine. Yeah, yeah, he just dropping his Netflix special too. Oh, for real? That's what I heard. Oh, man. Oh, I'm gonna watch shit. that shit. Yeah, I ain't been this excited for us since uh, Selena's uh, Bitty Bitty Bum Wow. <laughs> you jam Selena Charleston? Like a motherfucker. Yeah. Even when I couldn't understand it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My first song I used to listen to was Y'all Know, Y'all Know. Yano, Yano. You know she didn't speak no Spanish either until she started singing. She didn't speak Spanish until she started singing. You for real? Yeah, I'm for real. She, she, she had to learn it as she started singing. Damn, that's good shit. Yeah, yeah. Real shit. Yeah, so uh, what you, what you think about Joe Biden fall over on his bike yesterday, bro? Uh, he too old to be the president. Yeah, he must, well, he's supposed to be the commander in chief of the motherfucking military. He can't even ride a bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that's why I like, I can't say this because it hurts you. Uh, that's why I like Putin. Yeah, Vladimir Putin. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's strong. He can ride a bike. Damn. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'm with the Russians on this one. Well, we got a weak ass president, can't even ride a bike. Oh, weak motherfucker, he probably can't even fuck no more. Yeah, I ain't gonna run the country, he can't, can't bust enough. Oh, yeah, you need testosterone to be a general. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, he running on estrogen. <laughs> Falling off the goddamn bike. Uh, yeah, I was, I was watching, Um, I think Boosie Birdie said he didn't want, he's mad at Joe Biden for sending money to Ukraine and not to them schools that got shot. What school? Uh, uh, you yeah, you out. 
And now they did send some money down there. Yeah. Lil Boosie don't know what the fuck he talking about. Nah, man, they are. Uh, uh, for one, the Texas governor. Uh, they made airline trips free uh, for a lot of them. Uh, uh, no, nah, I, I would have to say, man, uh, they, they done something that we didn't see them do in the Sandy Hook shoot. Uh, so no, nah, homie, they are. Uh, they are. Uh, they, they, they responded accordingly. All right. Now, that's, that's me being sincere. Uh, no no joking, no bullshit. Uh, uh, yeah, i probably seen that. Not, not just our federal government, but, but our state, uh, uh, local government, uh, local authorities, uh, uh, local organizations, and even just the people in Uvalde. You know? uh, okay. No, nah, they, 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 they responded in, in, in a way that we had never seen in, in those school shootings. Yeah. So, uh, no, nah, no, nah, boosted trillions. Now they did send a whole bunch of goddamn. Yeah, they sent way more money over there. They did send trillions of dollars to Ukraine. Oh, That's yeah. our reparations, boosted. <laughs> yeah, now, uh, but no, nah, man, those are, uh, uh, there's a lot of compensation that 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 be going toward uh, the families uh, and, and the victims of the rally shit. So. Uh, Say, so boy, ain't coming here with Dracos and all kinds of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, man, God damn. Yeah, let Josh Wayne show the Draco, bro. Yeah. No, no, we don't want to hurt your monetization. No, oh, you pre record. No, you pre record. No, you good. Okay. You can always show guns when you pre record. It's just you can't show them live. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Now you good. You pre record. So I you, see. You go. <laughs> well, well uh, I demonetize my channel so oh, I can yeah. do shit like that. I forgot. Yeah, now you won't see me on my monetized channel doing it. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this. Josh Wayne just giving me the game. <laughs> Uh, you, you hope Elon Musk buy YouTube, bro, so you can say whatever the fuck you want. Oh, uh, no, nah, man, he scared me. He scared you? Yeah, yeah, Elon Musk scared me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he scared me, man. He got too much goddamn money. Yeah. yeah he got too much money. Oh, uh, and he wants to to shut down Twitter. Yeah, yeah, he bought his album. Oh, shut this motherfucker down now. <laughs> but, uh, nah, homie, uh, uh, a one man with that much money and power, uh, with, with with that kind of imagination spirits should scare anybody. Yeah, uh because at some point they start trying to play God. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Well uh, I mean uh say I, we hood over here. Say y'all say I'm in the middle of the interview with Don't Be Afraid Media, the next big channel on YouTube, so I'm gonna call you back. All right. Appreciate that. Yeah, just sliding in promotion. Yeah, yeah. So I've been seeing this meme on Facebook go around. Um, when I was thirteen, trying to be a crib, I'll get my ass whooped. But now these little boys, thirteen, want to be gay, and and they getting accepted right away. How you feel about that? Yeah, I think I'd rather my son be a crib than a punk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can recover from being a crib. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can recover from getting your ass busted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how far you can come back from that. Yeah, you, know, you might, you might get to the starting line. I don't think you can cross over. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah. I read my boy Crip hard in the motherfucker to be a punk. So, so Crip Mac can be redeemed. Yeah, 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 yeah like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then speaking of being what gay, what been doing lately? I ain't been seeing. What I, I, ain't, I ain't checked either. I haven't seen nothing. He hasn't been. I think he was most popular arguing with you. He I fucked think up. So. I'm, I think I'm gonna go find. I'm gonna go find pick another fight with him. You help him out, bro. You yeah. don't realize it. It looked like his old manager trying to outdo him. I wonder who even running his page, bro. I heard he ain't running it no more. That's fucked up. Well, we ain't been hurting him. He ain't been going viral. Is he still working out? Uh, no. I so think I think he was challenging who to box. Uh, Island Boys. He was trying to box the Island Boys for some money. Oh, he, he, yeah, he done got broke, man. Yeah, he bullying them. Boy, them niggas my side. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fight both of them niggas at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with both of them boys. Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Say, this gonna be a dope interview, y'all. I ain't bullshit. Y'all say, yeah. say, chop this motherfucker up. Take two oh. minute session. Don't do yeah, yeah. Just do two minutes. Make I, everybody mad. I don't think I'm at the level where I can drop the whole the whole hour yet. No, don't do the whole hour. Milk it. Milk like, yeah, yeah. it as long as you can. Yeah, you so, say these niggas got beepers and everything in here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they've been saying lately that Little Nas got got hacked and that he was he faked his way being gay just to get rich. No, don't try no don't, 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 don't do that, nigga. Yeah, stay gay. Stay gay. Yeah, yeah, you can't play that long. Yeah, yeah, most niggas come out and say, man, I'm just bullshit. I ain't gay. He done played gay too long to say he was playing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might as well keep playing. Like everybody, like these niggas playing gangster. 
He might well keep playing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. These niggas playing gangster. They really ain't gangster. And they don't want to backtrack the gangsterism, so he can't backtrack the gay look. He got to stand on it now. He done kiss niggas in the mouth, uh, done wore pink leotard outfits, uh, yeah, done had a finger in his ass. He got to go, yeah, he got to be gay. Had yeah, sex yeah. with the devil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got to be gay now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit it off. Yeah. That's something you don't play with. <laughs> yeah, you, you must rather play with God than play gay. Yeah. Really. So, uh, are you afraid of monkey pox? Hell yeah, they say that's a gay shit. That's a gay shit? Yeah, they say that's a gay. They say that's a gay disease. They say, yeah, they say normally, by, they say gay people been coming up with the monkey pox. So they recommend everybody uh, with monkey pox to have sex with their clothes on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's gay shit. Who fuck with their clothes on? Other than Penny Tank for nigga trying to shoot and get some pussy from a dog. That's hunting. Yeah. yeah, that's hunting. That's hunting. That's hunting. That's hunting. That's hunting. Yeah, 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 but now, yeah, yeah, I'm scared. Of, I, I'm scared of monkey pox. Oh, uh, they just making up shit now. Yeah, yeah, they just making up shit now. Monkey pox. Then I just read somewhere where where in North Korea they having this this epidem epidemic of intestinal intestinal uh, diseases. Yeah, intestinal diseases. Man, they making up shit. That's the man. food. That's the food. The food company's been real weird lately, bro. Yeah, like the baby formula shortage. Yeah, that shit fucked me and my wife up for like I don't know, like three months. Couldn't find none. Well, you better try to get this. this my baby bigger enough. She don't need it no more. Oh, I'm about to say it's some, it's some, it's some breast milk in them tears. Oh yeah, she be breast milk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They harden up a little bit. They got to squeeze them. Nah, it's because she be she be cutting hair during the day, so she okay. don't, she'll get breast milk all day when she need it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, just think about the Aztecas. They didn't have no bread. They didn't have no. That's what I'm saying. If we were out in the wilderness, how the hell we didn't have no formula? We didn't have no Walmart. Didn't have yeah. no McDonald's. Yeah, you, you gotta make it work. Yeah, uh, you can damn near uh, mash up grass and feed it to the baby. Yeah, yeah, just you can, you can just get some. Go outside and get some grass. It's green. Get yeah. some green grass. Just put a little water or a little juice in the blender and blend it up, and and blend it up like a smoothie, and feed it to the baby. That's, that sounds like something NLE Chopper would want to do. Cows eat grass, and, yeah. they, and we eat cows. Yeah. So why we can't eat grass and feed it to the babies? If you know what says, last thing come to push yourself, eat grass before you eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather eat grass than ass. You can eat a motherfucking baby. Your grass don't make your lip bump up. They were saying... They're saying Anna Lee Chopper can cure Justin Bieber's face. It's stuck from the vaccines. Yeah, I seen that nigga. Uh, they posted a video of that nigga about two years ago fucking at the top of the fence. Uh, Justin Bieber? Anna Lee Chopper. Anna Lee Chopper? Yeah, that boy was at the top of the fence fucking. So he might can. In the 20s. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. Any of yellow niggas. Yellow niggas know magic tricks. Yeah, they magicians. Yeah, they ain't football players. They can't dunk basketball. They, they magicians. Dr. Sebi was a yellow nigga. Mm. So I'm sure, yeah, he got the yellow nigga uh, cure for whatever. Well, Vlad caught him a snake oil salesman. Yeah, Vlad ain't lying on him. Yeah, Vlad. he can't cure shit. He can't cure <laughs> nobody. Dr. Sebi was too. Yeah, them yellow niggas, just, they just look handsome on, on television and telling you some shit. But they can't prove none of that shit he talking about. Yeah, yeah, he ain't got now remedy. Uh, yeah, he ain't got now remedy to stop a nigga when he burning. Where he can't go to the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I'm ashamed to go to the doctor because I'm a popular big name YouTuber and say my dick burn. Yeah. And if I go to the health department, they don't know me. If I go to the clinic, they don't know me. I can't call any of these shoppers and say, man, I think I'm burning. And he give me a remedy to fix that sick dick. <laughs> so yeah, he full of shit. Man. Yeah, fuck him. He said he could he said he could fix herpes, he could uh and give you a natural BBL just drinking his supplements. He said he could fix herpes. That's what I think. That's what he said. I, think that he could, I swear that was him. He said he could fix herpes by just eating the shit he tells you. Dude. So he need to help NBA young boy. Yeah, old parts of these niggas. Bumpy so, Yeah, he can quit rapping. If that nigga can cure herpes. He'll be a multi-trillionaire tomorrow. Damn. Bro. Yeah, no. And tell him patent whatever he got and get one of his buddies and see if he can stop them cold sores from getting on his lips. Yeah, that's all you gotta do is look around in your crew. Say, nigga. Most people don't say it's hurt. They say, oh, man, I got one of them cold sores. Yeah. He's cold. Okay, here, try this. Nigga, tell me if it works. He ain't done that yet. He got to give us some testimonials yeah. so we believe in 
Yeah, yeah. Right now, we don't know if he cured his herpes or who herpes he done cured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what nigga brave enough to go to him and say, nigga, I got herpes? Okay, nigga, let me rub this on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me rub this on your dick. Uh, yeah. God, see if this works. It's going to sting a little bit. Yeah, so what, what nigga he done cured with herpes? Yeah, bro, they, what a goddamn rapping nigga tell us any goddamn thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, that nigga got some ointment to rub on the nigga's dick. <laughs> um, yeah, Dr. Seven didn't even make them claims. He's going too motherfucking far. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Dr. Seven didn't even say no crazy shit like that. He's going too motherfucking far. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, the um, Sauce Walker just got sponsored by the Hoochie Daddy Shorts. You ever rock Hoochie Daddy Shorts? <laughs> <laughs> he says it's to show your dick print to women. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I got one part now. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what they look like. <laughs> yeah, you see, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, only those that know. You, you, you got to be a borderline pervert to have a thing for the daddy shorts. Because you go put the daddy shorts on and, and you go be at the swimming pool and you go have your legs wide open. <laughs> then your balls fall out. Now you know your balls is out. Yeah. You know you're doing this, but the other folks don't know. But you acting like you don't know. And everybody over there looking, so who y'all seeing? That's the borderline pervert. So then you catch a nigga in them daddy shouts, you he a borderline pervert. Yeah, yeah, that's the nigga that, you know, when your 17 year old daughter get 19, he trying to fuck her. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and he been, he been living in the house with her. Yeah, yeah, that's the nigga. Uh, if your mama get too drunk, and, and you fall asleep at the domino game, he gonna fuck your mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, them kind of niggas. Damn. Yeah, that's the kind of nigga that pay uh, the young woman two houses down. Uh, uh, he pay for her grass to get cut. Yeah, yeah, because he want to fuck her, but he can't fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so he sent his yard man down there to cut her grass too. Yeah, that's them kind of niggas. So if you see a nigga in them daddy shorts, watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch it. That son of bitch is a pervert. <laughs> so I was walking included. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, ain't nobody gonna worry about a pervert, nigga. Ain't nobody running around trying to show their dick print but a pervert. Yeah, me and a few other niggas. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to run around trying to show our print throughout the day. It's the more important thing to be worried about it like to be trying to flash your dick print. <laughs> Damn, my dad tries to this nigga run around trying to show his dick print. Yeah, we stick in the motherfucker. Shout out to South Walker and the daddy granted. The book, the daddy who's just short. Yeah, and a lot of them niggas let people grab their ass in them shorts, you know? So you got to analyze these niggas. Yeah, watch how they walk. Yeah, you catch a nigga in them daddy who's just short. If he ain't got a limp, yeah, watch him. Yeah, yeah, watch him. <laughs> oh, so, uh, King Yellow's been crying on Instagram. Crying like a bitch crying. Because like he called his daughter yellow. ugly and then you called his P.O. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now I did not call his P.O. I called a receptionist to some probation department in Las Vegas. It's several probation departments. So I didn't call this motherfucking probation department. I called a receptionist there and said what I said. Y'all heard what she said. She gave me a number to crowd stopper. I called another number, left a voicemail. I never spoke to nobody directly. I only, yeah, yeah, I never spoke with nobody. Say, hey, and as a matter of fact, when I put y'all on mute, when I was talking to the woman, yeah, it went mute. I, was wondering what I, I put it on mute because the woman said, as of May of 2021 of last year, Simone Lewis have completed his probation. So that's why I put it on mute so oh. y'all wouldn't hear that. So he not even, he's good. He's not even on for real. <laughs> he not even on it. Yeah. So that's, they, that's why I put it on mute. So it would make me look like, ah, you got this probation off, and he ain't even on probation. That's why I muted it. And then came back and said, oh, okay, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm playing internet games, man. Yeah, y'all playing internet games like a motherfucker. And I'm having fun like yeah, a motherfucker. Yeah. But uh, if I could get directly to a probation off, if I had a direct number with a name, I would call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to call. Yeah, I, I ain't through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't through. I'm still trying to call. I just ain't had time to bullshit again. Yeah, but next time I have a boring day 
where I can sit around and do nothing, I'm going to call again to see if he really off probation. On or live he, and everything. On live. Or he might be out of probation out of another place. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I never spoke to no one directly other than the receptionist that said, hey, we'll call Prime Stopper. Bitch, I need to talk to a probation officer. Hey, I'm going to yeah. call Prime Stopper for oh, He ain't committed to crime yet, but this is a crime he's committing. He likes in danger. I'm terrified of my I'm <laughs> terrified. The man say he's gonna slap me in my good eye. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I'm supposed to do after he do that. I'm at the mercy of a gang fighter then. That would terrify any legal law abiding citizen to be at the complete mercy of a gang banger. Oh man, I'm I'm petrified. You think you think King Yellow wore that gangster suit, or he'll cry if he had to wear it? You saw that bitch crying the other day about his homeboy. Didn't he have a YouTube video of him crying about two weeks ago? Yeah. King Yellow crying. Oh, I lost Jimmy. Oh, I lost Earl. Oh, <laughs> they killed Ricky too. Oh, they fuck around and got Bobby. Oh, they killed John. They got Lewis. Oh, they <laughs> killed Reggie. They killed Franklin. He done with the crying on y'all saw it on YouTube. Yeah. What gangster movie have you ever saw where the gangsters cry because their gangster buddy got killed? I once heard the Rolling 60s say in California. I once heard the leader of the Rolling 60s say, when one of us die, we don't cry. We want to know who done it. We don't cry. We don't know who done it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I go see any gangster nigga crying because they homeboy gone, nigga, what the fuck? That's the honor of a G, nigga. Dying in a lifestyle. That's what, that's the honor. That's how they wanted to live. That's the honor. That's what solidifies you as a G, nigga. To die like this. To get the life sentence and don't cry. To get the life sentence and you don't never bow to God. No, gangster, no, you don't bow to God. You just ask him to forgive you for the wrong. But you don't go read the Bible. You don't go recite the Quran. You don't go try to get baptized. No, Nick, this is what that is. And when you put this suit on, you're supposed to wear it to the grave, y'all. Say, no, no, these niggas want to be like, what's his name, Ricky, on Boys in the Hood. I want out. Get it, I want to get out of the car. I want, I want, I want to get out of the car. Yeah, you want out of the car. <laughs> you know how many times this happened to me in my life? We're going to do some fucked up shit. Man, I let want me get out. out. Let me get out. Yeah, nigga, let me out. Because what this, what we finna do might cost us our lives. So, no, no, no. King Yellow, he crying every goddamn day. But guess what? He even said it. I'm the king of this, Charleston. I'm climbing the cloud. I know I've, I've been doing this. So yeah, they've been. I'm new to this, everybody. They've been doing this way longer than me. Oh, uh, and I'm up there with them, and I got them hollering my name. Yeah, and I'm just playing. Yeah, yeah oh, that's just, why I came to get an interview from you. Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody messing with you. I'm like, man, I might as well too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just playing. No, no. I'm, uh, I'm gonna throw you out the hoop every day. Yeah, this is my first Mexican interview, man. So we going all on the Mexican television channel. The, the Telemundo and everything. Telemundo and everything, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So, um, yeah. How you think Soldier Boy is that wearing his gangster suit? Oh, he ain't never had one in a while. And watching you. <laughs> 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 See, hey, y'all talk about that little boy. That boy, gangster, that boy was you and you were watching you. He ain't never got to wear the gangster suit. Oh, uh, oh, uh, he wearing a monkey suit. Yeah, yeah, he got the clown suit on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. See, one thing about the gangster, the real gangster, he didn't become gangster when he got grown. He didn't wait till he got 18 and 19 and start being rebellious and rebel playing gangsters. The gangster was having issues in kindergarten. The gangster got a history of juvenile delinquency. Yeah. All gangsters, all gangsters from every walk of life start out as a baby, showing signs that you go be this. You don't pick it up later on. No, no, no. So what, what you see now is the Tupac version 
of gangster rhythm. So the camera. I get I get my weight up with my hate. Right now I'm a little bitty boy. Right now I'm a little bitty boy. I'm scary. I can't fight. I'm vulnerable. I get my weight up with my hate and pay them back when I'm bigger. Think about what he's saying. Right now I'm small with this hate, this hurt, and this pain. But as I as I grow to get bigger and, and, and body size and stature, my weight at some point begins to match my hate. And I'm going to pay you back when I get bigger. See, a lot of niggas can't fight. How many just bigger than the person they fight? That's why a lot of time when you see street fights, you don't never see two big niggas fight. That's why a lot of times in prison and in jail, you don't see two vipers in the pit. It's always an advantage and a disadvantage. It's never eat all away, nigga, dethroned. And I live off this reputation. So I ain't gonna risk my reputation fight with you. So me and you, we go sit down and we go talk. Cause you might get whoop me, or I might have to kill you, or you might kill me. So me and you, we not gonna butt heads. But this nigga, I can knock out, I'll whoop, I'll whoop him every day. I'll, me and you go talk, and me and him will never talk. The nigga I know I can whoop, me and him ain't gonna never talk. Me and you gonna put politics into the game. So that's how that's 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 what I mean by getting my weight up with my hate and paying back when I'm bigger. That's why the nigga who can fight, when he realized the people around him can't fight, he liked to fight. Cause he know nobody else wanna do it. The nigga who can fight, when he realized the people around him can't fight, he liked to fight. But when he go somewhere and everybody can fight, he don't like to fight. <laughs> he don't like to fight when he's somewhere and everybody can fight. Everybody respectful. Ain't nobody talking loud. Ain't nobody big six and big dick and nobody because everybody can fight. And we already know in real nigga, that's what the USP is. USP? United States Federal Prison. Oh, okay. See, in USP, in the maximum security, everybody bad. And the niggas we think bad in state prison, when they go to federal prison and they in D.C., they ain't bad. Down here with us, they name is bad. Up there in D.C. federal prison, they ain't bad. They go from Chapo. See, there's some places you go, everybody bad. We ain't been in that world where everybody bad. We've been in the world where everybody is a disadvantage or an advantage. We ain't been in the world where everybody bad. That's why when they get Chapo, he talk and tell information on how I was doing this. That's why Pablo Escobar Say, man, I'm not going to that U.S. Man, fuck that. I don't want. I'm not being extradited. To He'd rather die than get. I'd rather die. I'd rather die. That's why everybody say, man, I don't wish jail. That's where all the bad motherfuckers at. <laughs> you bad motherfucker, go on down there with your people. Why you want to be bad amongst the sheep? Because you. The Bluetooth device is really too pale. Oh, oh they kill him. Is that me or that's y'all? That's them niggas? That's them niggas. God damn, they kill him a bit. Me and shit. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, how, how you feel about um, people saying Hollywood's always put in black men in a dress? Shit, Hollywood ain't doing that. Them niggas accepting it. They agreeing to it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just like when the white boy brought dope to the community. He didn't make us sell dope. We chose to sell dope just because he brought it. We didn't have to pick it up. They brought homosexuality, you didn't pick it up, did you? No, no. That's what I'm talking about. So how you gonna say, y'all, they brought dope, nigga? They didn't make you pick it up. Maybe. They just gonna say, say, man, here go this dress, y'all. I want y'all to put it on. Say, man, I ain't wearing that. Oh, well, buddy, you gotta go. Okay, cool. I ain't wearing that. They not making us do nothing, homie. The devil don't make you do a motherfucking thing. Neither does God. Damn. God does not force you to do nothing. 
and the devil can't make you do that. So LA hit up Charleston White, billion dollar movie deal, five movies, gotta wear a dress in each movie. Well, what's, what's your choice? Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing shit out there. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't one of them niggas talking about I'm gonna wear a drip. I ain't gonna get fucked in that. <laughs> I ain't gonna take no dick in that ass for nigga five million dollars per movie. Nigga, I don't wear a dress for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. get Jada and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nigga, I yeah, five million dollars. I wear a dress every day for <laughs> five million dollars a movie. I am wearing it when the movie over with, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The movie done. You can take it off, Charles. No, I ain't. Yeah, yeah I ain't never been able to do this before. Why well, I'm gonna take this dress off? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just don't want. I ain't getting fucked in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. But wearing that dress, see, you can count me in, bro. <laughs> and titties, too. They can put titties on me. Oh, my God. Five million dollars. I know, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, yeah. What's that one that? Yeah, I'll play the next Holiday Great, whatever that movie was. Uh, uh, Holler Heart Holiday, whatever that <laughs> shit was. Yeah, I'll be him. Yeah, yeah, I'll play that for him. Oh, my God. Uh, do, do you trust self driving cars, Charleston? Hell no, nigga. Uh, uh, can't take a nap with a Tesla. Oh, yeah, no, nah, I ain't even trusting shit. Zen that just no, nah, man. What if that motherfucker take me somewhere I don't want to go? <laughs> oh, that's my own ride roller coaster because it won't stop when I say stop. Oh, yeah, yeah. uh, what if that motherfucker malfunction and it take you to Mexico <laughs> and you got your gun on you and know how Mexico is about bullets? You can't even cross that yeah, board yeah, yeah. and just you tell them all, stop, stop, and then motherfucker don't stop. Oh. Just say, they say, hey, we're going to pick on niggas today. All niggas with self-driving cars, we ride them into the ocean. We can't stop them. Damn. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I'm a carburetor nigga. Well, if you run out of gas, you got to pop your motherfucking hood and go put gas in the carburetor to start that motherfucker and stomp on it like this here to get it going. Yeah, I'm one of them, like, yeah, I'm one of them kind of niggas. I don't like push button start, cars, none of that. I like that motherfucker. You got to get that gas, pump that gas before you crank it. Oh, well, um, Hulu just dropped the XX Tentacion documentary. There, everybody's talking about X used to hit that girl Geneva that he was with. Um, Who? XX Tentacion. Who is that? That one rapper that got killed in Miami. Oh, that's the nigga that robbed him. Yeah. And then they went live on this video. Yeah. What did he used to rap about? About feelings. About feelings. At f his first song was like. I don't know, I think it was like... He must want to mistreated ass kid. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, I, I know you say you, you believe that if I'm with my bitch my whole life, I should be able to whoop my bitch. Yeah. So you think X was wrong whooping that one girl or no? Uh, no, I ain't no telling what that hoe did. Some my ass whoopings that won't be. Yeah, no, nah, I don't believe in man ain't supposed to hit no woman. You lying to me? Yeah, no, some ass woman is warranted. You and you and your woman getting into it and she say something out of line. How are you supposed to teach her, teach her that she can't say this to you? How are you supposed to teach her? How are you supposed to show her? Don't say this to me no more. Fuck you, motherfucker. How are you supposed to tell her you can't do that to Look, me? They recommend people go to couples counseling. That's how your woman end up getting fucked by the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going to couples counseling, that's how your woman end up getting fucked by the counselor, the counseling, y'all. When y'all on the board, she's still going to counseling. Next thing you know, they fucking during the counseling session. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You don't, there's nobody counseling you about your bitch. Y'all can work that out together. Yeah, sometimes it warrants an ass with them. Yeah, you saw when Tina Turner and Ike decided to fight one another back. How, see how I saw they problem? Yeah. Once Tina decided to fight back, and the nigga fighting and the bitch fighting, that's when you know it's true love. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but when the nigga just kick, kicking the bitch ass, that's when it's kind of sideways. Kind of cruel. Now, I ain't gonna say cruel. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, it's just off balance. But when the bitch fighting back, she hitting you in the head with the ball, stabbing you, you knocking her out, beating up her brother, <laughs> going to jail, she coming up on you out of jail. That's when you know you got something. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that's when you know you got sort of. Um, a, a lot of rappers have been, getting, have been getting rid of the grills for them porcelain veneers. Yeah. Wait, them, what? them niggas' teeth light up. 
uh, his like T-shirt in the club. I be seeing them nigga. I don't want no perfect white tee. Yeah, yeah, that's for dick sucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want your woman to have pretty white teeth while she's gnawing on that dick. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, granddad and them and nine other men before us had them pretty white teeth. That's the that's the that's the that's the new metrosexual. Most rappers is borderline homosexuals anyway. But anytime they go to putting it, taking it goes out to put pretty white teeth in, he trying new things. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 no, there ain't no nigga before who took no gold out once he put him in. No, that's some new shit. Nigga, you took your gold out? No, that's some new shit. Boy, I see you trying new things, huh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you keeping up with the times, I see. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know, man, nigga, teeth ain't supposed to be white, by the way. Naturally, teeth aren't white. So where the fuck they get off with nigga more porcelain white teeth, toilet white teeth? That's like the toilet. You like want a, teeth like you want your teeth white like the toilet in the bathtub. <laughs> no, nigga. No, teeth supposed to have a yellowish kind of no 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 man. That's that that's that European shit. Yeah, the white boy did that. Uh the niggas before when they lost teeth, teeth were just gone. These niggas just had gone. They were working out with them gone forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, nah, man. This, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, these porcelain teeth niggas can't fight. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Kodak Black's Donald Trump's chain? He has a, a necklace of Donald Trump smoking a blunt. Yeah, if nigga got me out of jail the way that, I, yeah, I do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. he, you can't knock him for that, though. Yeah, he, yeah no. nigga freed him from jail. This nigga still had a whole lot more time to go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't be mad at him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he shot some people up kind of like in the thug right before he went to jail. No, that nigga ain't shot no goddamn body. That nigga went and bought a gun, and he know he wanted to oh, yeah. buy a gun. Rappers don't shoot people. Uh, it's the nigga that can't rap that shoot people. The nigga that can rap, they accidentally shoot people. Like Pooh Shyster. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He wasn't trying to shoot nobody. He just wanted to shoot the gun because he was upset. That was it. Uh, so, what? <laughs> uh, how you feel about um, white and Mexican girls wanting to make their bodies look like black women? Is she and there's nothing wrong with that. Nah, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm all, uh, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> shit, man, shout out to the Kardashian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shout out to the Kardashian. Oh, uh, you think they trying to look like black women? Well, I feel though, like they don't have good, they don't have good lips. They go get good lips. They don't got ass. They go get ass. Black women trying to look like the white women. What are they doing? Putting the white woman hair in their head. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Making their titties real perky. Yeah, yeah. Black women ain't got perky titties. Uh, trying to make their stomachs flat. And we like a little chubbiness on their stomach. Uh, uh, yeah, they put making their eye colors turn different. Yeah. They put uh, a bunch of different kind of uh, makeup on their face. Uh, different kind of red eyeliner, blue lipstick. That's the white woman. Black woman ain't never looked like that. That's why you're seeing so many white looking women in black men videos. That's why you're seeing so many basketball playing niggas going to go get what they think is an exotic looking woman. Because our women looking like a drag queen. The black woman looking like a motherfucking drag queen now. She looking like the old one, Paul. That's who used to get their breasts done. That's who used to get their hips and ass done. Was the gay man, the drag queen motherfucker. <laughs> now here come the black woman coming along, looking like this European standard, putting that long dog hair in her, that Malaysian hair. They putting them long eyelashes. That's the Betty Betty Boo. That Betty Boo bitch, Marilyn Monroe, and them look like that. That ain't the standard of a black woman's beauty. That's a white whore's beauty. The white whore dressed up. All you got to go do is look at the old Vegas. That's the white whore look. Now, here it is. You got these Mexicans and these, and, 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 and I'm going to say the Cubans because we see a lot of Cubans in the strip club now. Well, they find the motherfucker with these BBLs. They BBLs are looking better than a black girl BBL. I don't know where these Cuban hoes going. I don't know where these Latino Mexicans oh, are. The, I don't know where these Puerto Rican bitches from Miami going, but they looking better than the sisters. So naturally, 
the rapping nigga, the football playing nigga, the basketball playing nigga, the boxing nigga, they all want these Spanish looking chicks, including me. For the last past 20, 30 years, including me. <laughs> we've been having to look at our women and they look like the drag queens. So, so now when you fast forward to 2022, the real woman, the fake woman, look better than the real woman. Because the real woman is getting the same exact surgeries as the fake woman. But the fake woman is down there looking better than the real woman. So when you see a bad bitch now, you got to say, hold up, nigga. <laughs> This could be one of them one of them things. Has that ever happened to you? Hell no. <laughs> Nigga, I grew up in the 80s. I don't know what to look for. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what to look for. Give some advice to them young boys that don't know what to look for. Walk up and rub a whole throat. <laughs> <laughs> or walk up and grab you can't even grab a pussy no more. You gotta be Donald Trump. Huh? Man, walk up and grab a throat, rub a throat. Baby, let me rub your throat right quick. Cause one thing about that thing that there, that can't come out. They can't cut that throat out of that. That, that lump in that throat. That's the tail of our tail. And them big old hands. And look down at them whole feet. Very few women got long feet and they wide. Look at them shoulders. Nigga, you can't reduce no shoulders. You can't take no man's shoulders and reduce them to no woman's shoulders. It ain't a surgery in the world that can reconstruct a man's shoulders to make him look like a woman. But if you so caught up into a fat ass, pretty titties, and a pretty face, you'll get caught up into the homosexual life. You got to be all about a woman. You got to be more than just wanting to have sex with a beautiful, you got to be about a woman, nigga. You got to look for the spirit of a woman that lies inside of a woman. So you can't be so caught up in looking at that whole pussy and ass and her titties. That's how you get tricked. Because if you're too horny and you get somewhere with this motherfucker, she pretty, she fine, and she get naked, and that dick hang out, you can't hit reverse and try to bag up out of that nigga. And you already lit. Yeah, you already lit. How you get out this situation? <laughs> Most niggas proceed on. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ain't no uh, tricky, nigga. Most niggas hit the gas and proceed on. Listen, I'm already here, but <laughs> they don't hit reverse. <laughs> this motherfucker. No, they hit the gas and proceed on out of curiosity because they ass obsessed, homie. So that's why when you see your partner, he always want to fuck on some goddamn nigga. All you talking about is fucking. That's your raise a red flag. The horny partner in the crew. Yeah, that's your raise a red flag. So no, nah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Nah, I, I I can't say too much about it. Uh, I appreciate the white woman and the and the Latino woman and what and the and the real woman. I ain't gonna say any kind of woman, but yeah, the real women are doing whatever they gotta do to make them bodies look how they look to make a nigga want to fuck on them. Keep it up. Do you, do you agree with that football player's uh, case being dropped for killing that the transgender for lying to him? Like she brought him back to his house and he. What nigga? Uh, I think it was a football player. Oh, uh, uh, NFL football player? Nah, college player. College player? Yeah, he got. Dude? Yeah, he got tricked into having sex with her and he killed her. No. He beat the shit out of her. Right? She didn't die though. She didn't oh. die though. Oh. oh. How did he trick you? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, nah, man, how nah, I dick trick a nigga then we go to fucking and I don't know this dick church afterwards. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fucking he doing. Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. How he know that dick was how that dick disappear during sex. That man, how did where that dick go? <laughs> so he has sex with him. I'm not sure if she already had the surgery or had the surgery to get rid of her dick though, so he whooped him. He go to jail. How he find out that was a man? What was going on for then? What conversation led up? Uh, so you got to ask yourself all them kind of questions. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think if a nigga end up in that situation right there, he where he where he where he want to be. He's yeah. the guy that's too horny looking for pussy. Exactly. Yeah, they ain't they ain't tricking those niggas. They ain't now a nigga in the world been tricked by no punk to be one on one in the room. Unless they were cellmates in prison and he didn't know the punk was a cellmate. 
And it would count. Yeah, yeah, that ain't no nigga getting tricked one on one in no sexual uh experience with no pump. That's the nigga got cold feet. Shit, that's the nigga <laughs> wanted to do it and got cold feet. <laughs> oh, he had buyer remorse. Yeah, he done fucked the pump. And all that, he done had five years remorse. Now he feel bad about being a punk. Yeah, yeah. I think he was crying. I got to double check, but I think it's. Ah, was... I mean, that nigga, yeah, yeah. If you feel bad about being a punk, you'll cry too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck up. No. You'll cry too. Nigga, how you talking about? Them children don't mean shit. Uh, Ray J says we need to start being nicer to gay men. He lying like mama. He need to go fuck one nigga. <laughs> <laughs> gay men ain't nice to people. Gay people ain't nice. <laughs> yeah, they hate. Think about that. Gay people ain't nice. They try to get you fired at your job. Say, man, they go, they go be be hot at men. They not compassionate. Offend one of them. Watch what they do. They'll come up. They'll come for your head. They're not loving people. Or they try to cancel you. Yet. I ain't bothering them people. Yeah, shit, I ain't got nothing to for a motherfucker trying to cancel me. Yeah, no, man. Hell no. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, no. They ain't no. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, Tiger Woods recently became a billionaire, Charleston. You think, <laughs> how's his legacy looking? I mean, ever since he had that wreck and that white bitch left him, and he had all them problems after that, he ain't got no motherfucking legs. He look like a weenie. Yeah, yeah, them billionaire niggas don't, they don't be the kind of billionaire nigga we need to see. Yeah, 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 them niggas don't book bitches. They don't have, they don't, them niggas apologize for having a fur on their yeah, mind. Yeah. What the, what the, what the billionaire niggas don't give a fuck? Yeah, yeah, what kind of motherfucker is it? Just fucking, um, Bill Gates, the only one been doing that. Bill Gates, um, yeah, yeah, you sure right, yeah, yeah. He's he, the only one that's been. Yeah, his wife said he was a motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, Ricky Williams, um, he's changing his last name to his wife's last name. <laughs> man, we already knew, man, that boy was crazy with that boy. Sign with Master P, he was fucked up. <laughs> yes, nigga, yeah, we knew, we knew when Ricky Williams dumb ass signed with Master P, fresh out of high motherfucking nigga coming out of college, he go with no limit, and went to fucking up afterward. Boy couldn't even talk in public. He had a, some type of phobia of talking in public, so the boy ran away for a while. And then he went to smoking weed. Oh, uh, somewhere along the line, something had to happen to that boy. For that boy to take on this woman's name. You would have never do that, Charleston. I'll fuck her sister before I do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I be trying to fuck her sister and her cousin now. Uh, uh, so she, she got to be a Saudi Arabian bitch for me to do that. So Kim, Kim K? No, that ain't no Saudi bitch. That's a, a American hoe. Right. Yeah, that little old billion, that bitch ain't got that name. Shit, I'm talking about that Saudi all money. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, well, you can fuck a camel. <laughs> yeah, that kind of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camel fucking money. Nigga, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, I changed my last name for one of them bitches. They got money, and I get to spend the money how I want to spend the money. Go to the bank. Uh, yeah, on that, man, nah, I'm jumping on holes and everything. I ain't changed my last name, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, man, I'm, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I advocate woman violence on women sometimes. Nigga, fuck, I'm going to change my last name. To a woman named Fuck. I come from the era where men was men and women was afraid of me. Yeah, that's the era I grew up in. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Um, you need to change his name, no woman last name. Man, please. Yeah, she fucking him. That's the only way that happens. <laughs> I, pretty, I think she's a white woman too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Well, these niggas born after 1977 fucked up. <laughs> 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 born after 1977 don't know what to do with a bitch. Yeah, no, I mean, see, that, see, this come from, see, that's that feminism shit. This come from not being able to slap the woman. This come from, uh, you're not supposed to call a woman a bitch. Uh, this come from teaching little boys you're not supposed to hit girl. Bitch hits you, you hit her back. What? Fuck you talking about? <laughs> yeah, mama didn't say fuck what your mama said. You ain't let nobody hit you. Nobody. Yeah. So that's where that come from. That was the little boy who taught not to hit me real back. And she'll scratch his face up. And for long, she'll change his last name. Your last name as a man, my nigga, that's your legacy. 
It ain't your nickname. It ain't your hood. That's why when you go to court, they say, what? Oh, yes, your honor. And why would you go to a doctor? Oh, he's an experienced dad cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I can't repeat it. That's how I ask. Yeah, I can't going. repeat Hey, well, um, why do, why do Mexican men uh, 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 obey all the jobs and rules? I mean, all yeah, the rules that work. Don't, they don't want no problem. Them people just want to work. And Mexicans really don't work as hard as we think they work. It's just a bunch of them motherfuckers. And they can hide behind four Jose's working hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just be a bunch of them motherfuckers. And boy, if you got your four Jose's, you really got your crew. You don't need 12 motherfuckers. Four Jose's is 12 motherfuckers. <laughs> but then you got, uh, uh, you got uh, Salas all over there. You might got Weto. Uh, you might got Chongo. They drinking bro. And they, and they, and they hearts playing. Yeah, they hearts playing like a motherfucker. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, then you might got Sal, his woman calling him on the phone. They arguing all motherfucking day long. It's them four Jose's is carrying the crew. So for the most part, uh, Mexicans are operating from what I've seen. Uh, at work, most Mexicans are, are working with a purpose. Uh, whether they trying to send money back home. Uh, they trying to budget out a, a food balance or a budget. Uh, very few Mexicans is working to bullshit. Uh, the culture don't allow them. Uh, they got to pay their way where, where they stay. So, you know, so uh, from what I see is uh, they don't want to involve law enforcement in their business. So if we got problems, they're less likely to call the police. None of them want to sue. None of them want to sue. Uh, and they damn sure don't want to break the rules on the job. Uh, uh, no, no, no. It's something about that white boy supervisor, white boy boss, uh, Guadalupe and them go jump. <laughs> yeah. But what I understand about the white man is he will always put a Mexican man over his own kind and let him handle his people. Uh, very, very, very few, very few companies, very few, uh, Caucasian people who would have a, a, a Mexican work population would take a black person and make him a supervisor of Mexicans. Uh, Mexicans work better with Mexicans. Uh, Mexicans, from what I see, do better taking instructions and directions better uh, from Mexicans because, for the most part, they don't look out for each other. Uh, so that's the strength of a Mexican. Uh, no matter what internal problem that they have, from hood to hood, state to state, uh, for the most part, they go look out for each other. Um. But why do you think most Hispanic girls love black men now? Uh, the chorizo, the topio. <laughs> mucho, mucho verga. Uh, and then, and then the, 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 the black man, with all his, with all his bullshit, with all his lies, uh, he's the Mexican man on steroids for his romance, right? Uh, historically, traditionally, the Latin, the, the, the term Latin lover. Uh, Mexican guys are, are, are the lovers, right? Uh, they'll, they, they, they sing, they bring flowers, they'll put hickeys on their neck. Uh, but, but Mexicans can also be like male chauvinists, right? Uh, once they get the girl, uh, they're not as charming anymore. Yeah. Uh, in the beginning, the Mexican motherfucker charming. He tried but, hard. Oh, man, he charming. He do everything. Until he gets it. Well, the black guy is a bullshit. <laughs> So the Mexican falls in love with the bullshit black guy because he tells sweet lies like the Mexican in the beginning. It's just the nigga do that throughout the relationship because he cheap, but he bullshit lying <laughs> doing this. Uh, so they, they get caught up, homie, uh, thinking the grass is greener, uh, you know, chasing, the, chasing uh, those sweet lies, you know, chasing those sweet lies. Uh, only to come over here to realize she should have stayed over there with Jose motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, the, kid, the kids would have fired better. <laughs> yeah. how, how was it raising Mexican kids, have black, have Mexican kids? Oh, uh, it was difficult. Uh, anybody who say different, uh, because you're bringing two cultures together. Uh, so my, my kids are, are, are submerged in both the Mexican side and black side. So they, they, they deeply submerged in both sides. Uh, so by us being black, it's two different traditions. So what tends to happen with biracial children, uh, at some point throughout their life, they become confused. Especially, especially if they are intertwined with both sides. 
Now, if they just intertwine with their Mexican side, then they don't become confused. They identify as Mexican. If they identify, if they just intertwine with their black side and they hardly ever go to their Mexican side, then they intertwine as black. And, 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 and at some point, they begin to question their identity by not having both sides. Because at some point, the one side said, wow, well, you ain't black, you Mexican, blah, blah, blah. Or if you're a little bit to Mexican, oh, you're not fully Mexican, you black. So they get rejected at some point by their race. By both sides. Both sides. That's what happened to biracial children. So if you notice, most biracial children, they gravitate to other biracial children. Just pay attention. You pay attention. So, uh, so by my children being, being, uh, knowing both sides, uh, they got to learn both sides. So how confusing can that be? That's a lot of from, work. From the food, from the food, uh, uh, the Mexicans celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, uh, the blacks on Christmas Day. So they have to learn uh, both cultures and both traditions, uh, and it can become confusing. Because at some point it's gonna conflict. At some point it's gonna conflict. Uh, so, uh, you know, you just gotta, you gotta, as a parent, you gotta try to find a balance uh, for, for something. And so I'm the first person in my family to have kids outside the race. You know, my kids are for biracial kids in my family. Uh, so uh, my kids talk Uh, my kids taught the, the racist and prejudiced black people on my side of the family how to love Mexicans. <laughs> uh, on the flip side, they taught their prejudiced Mexican grandparents how to love black people. How to love black people. So uh, at some point, uh, every family racial barrier will be broken by a biracial kid. At some point, going forward in life. That's how I believe that, that racism and uh, prejudice is never go away. But racism in America will, will cease to exist one day. So if everybody become biracial, what is there left to bitch about? Yeah, and that's, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Midland, Texas, bro. Um, I know you, you're very, you know a lot about Twisted Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot about Midland, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Growing up, everybody said someone from Midland told them. I never knew the full story. Uh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Uh, you listened to the tape? Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. Uh, you know, he called out their name. That's what got him caught up? Yeah, fucking with them people. Yeah, he called out their name. Uh, I wouldn't do it now. Uh, you know, it, it, it resurrect the old things. Uh, but uh, let me just say this. If me and you doing something together, you bring me into it or have it, right? We're doing it together. And we ten toes down in this. And I get knocked. And I keep my end of the bargain. I stay down. I don't say nothing. Uh, once you don't keep your end of the bargain, and I can't talk to you, and we can have the kind of conversation for me to get the understanding that I need to understand why you're not keeping your end of it. Most niggas break on me and make the phone call to the FBI agent and say, hey, I'm ready to talk. Uh, you know, without saying too much, you know, it's kind of what happened. Uh, you know, your nigga in jail, he's seeing you flossing. Uh, and then a lot of time, man, uh, a lot of times, Twisted Black, one of the first rappers in America, homie, uh, to have his lyrics used against him in, in, in the federal court here. Damn. He's one of the first rappers in the United States of America. This is government court open documents. He had a song that was called, I'm gonna cook my way to the top, talking about cooking crack. They used those lyrics in their sentences. So if you read the myth in Odessa or Harold, it, the prosecutor bring that up. I'm gonna cook my, and they used that whole song. And so he ended up getting 330 year sentences. Uh, but when you listen to that album, uh, he taunted the feds. He taunted law enforcement who could be sitting back or, or, or was sitting back watching and listening. Uh, the songs they make, homie. Uh, 
it's an inv- it's an open invitation for a a an agent with aspirations, a young agent with aspirations. Oh, we forget these are young people that's coming to the FBI. Uh, they like rap music. They got cousins. They got nieces, and so not 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 only does these rappers uh, do they make it easy for the FBI to get them, they also make it fun. It's great entertainment to watch these guys as they make confessions and give hints about true events. They give they give interviews and they openly talk about crimes. Most of them are involved in crimes that were never solved. But they're talking about crimes and giving names of other people who was once involved in these crimes. That if the right detectives, the right agents, the right agency, if they sit down and say, okay, go back and look at this case. All right, I remember that guy. They get, they put the dots together. Only when the gangsters started talking. So we got gangster rap. Gangster rap is nothing more than making self-confessions of the crimes you've committed, whether you used to sell drugs, whether your homeboy did it. That's all they're doing, homie. These are self-confessions. Do you think Rallo stayed solid on his case? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rallo stayed solid. But who you go tell on? The club? Yeah, yeah. He's showing a million dollars on our plane. Them people wasn't paying attention to him. Them people was not paying attention to him until he started fucking with the police on the side of the street, saying, but I make more money than you. So how do you, how'd you feel about Rallo um, in the apartments letting everybody live for free? Uh, 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 honorable thing that he did. Uh, he just didn't get them niggas no job. Yeah, she got them niggas a goddamn job. Uh, well, they don't look like a terrorist organization. Yeah, you got every nigga in the apartment complex praying together, praying to the east. Uh, you playing with them white folks, homie. Anytime you got 10 or more black men that's doing something in unison, you're going to get the attention of some white folks. So if you selling dope, you're doing wrong. Why would you bring this on you? You're doing wrong, man. You know you're doing wrong. Why are you fucking with these people? So I don't get it, homie. So, you know, I don't get it. How, how much, if you're in the streets, Charleston, being a gangster, how much money, that, how much dirty money would it take for you to stop fucking around, not trying to be famous, just chill at home with your money? Oh, uh, no. No. Oh. Uh, the time will make me stay at home. Yeah, I can leave broke. The freedom. I want to be able to walk away with the freedom. I ain't got to have a dollar. I ain't got to have a dollar, my nigga. I want to be able to just walk away. Yeah, I don't want nothing out the streets. I don't want nothing from the streets. When you know what I know, homie, you just want to be able to walk away. With your life and your freedom. That's the most precious thing you can get out of that shit, nigga, when you don't get in it. You don't try to play in it. Real life, man, I ain't tough enough to do it like some. I ain't tough enough to be paralyzed to a wheelchair, man. I ain't that tough. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to tell the guy I like some. So when I realized that I'll tell, when I looked at myself and said, man, I'll tell, I quit. Quit. I'm weak, my nigga. I, I tell you, so I quit. So I, I'm man enough to say I'm weak. And I don't want to be in these streets no more. You mean to tell me I still got to live by a street coach? That's what people telling me. Well, you once was in the streets. You can't, you ain't a civilian no more. When I say I quit, I'm a civilian. I don't sell dope, I don't steal. I don't shoot guns at people. I don't wake up thinking about breaking the law. I'm a civilian. I call the police if my house get broken to. If I see my neighbor's house get broken to, I call the police. If I see a man beating up a woman at the gas station, I get his license plate number and call the police. If I see a man hold a gun out the window, just bullshit, ride on the highway, I call the police. He's endangering somebody. 
Yeah. Some people say that's snitching. He's endangering somebody. What if he shoot a baby? If you threaten me, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to tell the police you threaten me. Because if I see you and you try to hurt me and I respond in self-defense and I end up killing you for the simple fact that I have no evidence that you threaten me, I have to pay for this murder. I have to now have to be charged with a crime, use the money to bond out, get put on bond probation, take drug tests probably for three or four years, be in and out of jail, fed in drug tests, coming up with more money, family under stress, pressure, because now you got this case on you. When all you had to do was say, man, he threatened me. Be smart. That's why you always call. That's why I always call. It's a paper trail. It's called being smart. Why would you threaten me? Why don't you just be quiet and get me? But well, why would you give me a heads up? Unless you're just trying to skirt me. Why would you tell me what you're going to do to me? Why don't you just do it? The police don't say, hey, we're going to arrest you. You just get arrested. <laughs> they just pull you out the car and put you on the floor. So why would you tell me what you're going to do to me? Unless you want to scare me. Okay. So you don't scare me. When you scare me, what you expect for me to do if you scare me? If you say, I'm going to hurt you, I'm going to slap you, then I get scared. I'm not supposed to say nothing. Well, you've been running your mouth. You can't hurt nobody for running your mouth. Yeah. You can't beat your wife up because she's provoking you. And when the police come, you say, well, she provoked me. That's not good enough. You can't say I killed him because he was talking about my baby online. You can't hurt people for what they say. Nowhere in America can you justify violence based off what somebody says unless they make a direct threat to cause harm, severe harm, bodily injury, and or death. You can't hurt nobody for what they say. But this generation of people think if you hurt their feelings, that they can hurt you. Because hurt people hurt people. That's why they think that. You hurt their feelings. So they think they can hurt you. Um, if all these, all these shootings have been going on. They've been saying Joe Biden's trying to come for our guns. If that were to happen, should Texas succeed? Oh. Uh, but nobody would never come for American guns. They've been saying that about every president. They said that about Obama. So the gun sales shot off the roof. What tends to happen, they put that narrative out, every Democratic president, because it makes the gun sales go off the roof. Uh, no president will ever try to take American guns. It'll be political suicide. We've been hearing this for the last 30 years. Oh, are they trying to take our guns? They listed the assault rifle ban. Oh, they trying to take our guns. We got access and binary switches. How the fuck they trying to take our guns? <laughs> How the fuck they trying to take our guns? They just trying to come up with new gun laws. That's it. They trying to take a cane. It's too many. It's too many. America got more guns in the world. American citizens. And why trying to take these ignorant motherfucker gun? Hell no. Nobody's trying to do that. Nobody's brave enough. Uh, you, you think we should be knocking down uh, Confederate statues? Hell no. Fuck you, bought them people statues for them people fought mm -hmm. to have them statues <laughs> up. And that's history. You can't erase history. So if you take down a Confederate flag. Then they take away slavery. Confederate flags don't exist. Slavery didn't exist. Oh, slavery never happened. What are the statues? It never happened. Black people are making that up, y'all. No, they were never slaves. They were never done that bad. <laughs> Think about this. Black people are fighting to have Confederate statues taken down. But we don't have one black museum 
We don't have one black museum that black people owned and built with our history in it. Not one. Every black history is owned by white people in America in white people museums. Smithsonian, that Martin Luther King statue, white people built that. So how are we going to go tell white people to take statues down that they put up? That they put up. And we ain't put up not one statue for now, black motherfucker in America. My, ain't not one black person have sponsored one statue of our history. Fuck they bought the white folk about their granddaddy in them. <laughs> and by the way, it was niggas who were sons of confederates too. I'm one of them. My family fought with the confederates. So there's a picture of me looking like I'm in a Klan rally. I was really in a confederate rally because I can show where my people fought. I come from a family of military veterans, war veterans. So, oh, your great granddad was great granddaddy, granddaddy, uncle's daddy, everybody. I'm a military baby, whole family. But we ain't got no right to them to take their statues down when we ain't built nothing for us. You believe the stereotype that black men are better athletes. No. Uh, ain't no black quarterback better than Tom Brady. <laughs> Niggas just got better athleticism. But when it comes to when it comes to the IQ of an athlete, we the lowest. So we're not the better athletes. We just got the more athletic bodies. But when it comes to the mind, we don't fare so well. In critical situation, being able to think in critical situation. Uh, and in today's black athlete, he ain't like the athlete before. This today black boy weak in a motherfucker, homie. He can't play football like the old niggas. He been in the house playing a video game. If you see the today boys throw a punch, he look like a girl. Yeah. The, the niggas in jail now getting beat up by white boys. That was never. Oh, what? Yeah. The niggas in jail now scared of the Mexicans with their hands. Because the little boys today don't go up fight. They grew up shooting. We grew up shadow boxing, snap boxing, wrestling, karate, throw up tackle. So we was aggressive boys. These boys today ain't aggressive. They've been inside all day, all their life. They ain't never broke a finger. They ain't brush no head. They don't have scars on their legs. So these today black boys don't have the athleticism to dominate sports. That's why you see the NBA struggle sometimes when they're playing overseas. Oh yeah, them European boys been playing better. That's why you see white boys like Luka Dukovic, whatever his name is, <laughs> Dirk Nowinski. That's why, that's why you seeing Steph Curry, light-skinned niggas coming through doing this kind of shit. Because this right here is becoming weaker and weaker as the generations exist. This right here would be the sissified people. Everybody would be punking the black boy in the future. Where, it, as before, they used to be scared of him. Everybody would be reluctant to fight him. He come by your car door, white people used to lock the door. Now everybody challenging us. It's like discovering the bully ain't really tough. That's what can happen. There's been this mythical stereotype about black people being tough. Now they try and they see, oh man, go look at the MMA world. Go look at the MMA world. The cocky white boys that know the mixed martial arts now. The Tyson Furries, how they just pay attention. We ain't big and bad like we used to, man. And they, we don't, it's like we don't get exposed. Speaking on uh, quarterbacks, um, what do you think Deshaun Watson should do with all them cases? 
What case? Uh, he has like 25 sexual misconduct allegations. Yeah, plead not guilty and say everybody lie. <laughs> yeah, plead not guilty and say everybody lie. Yeah, fuck them. Make them prove it. Damn. And he a black quarterback with all that? Now the white boys get away with it. Yeah, plead not guilty. Nigga say they lying. Them bitches lying. You ain't got to take no pussy and stick with that. Uh, um, when, when's the um, when's the thing you're doing with the, everybody's mothers, all the dead rappers' mothers? Oh, uh, next this Saturday, ain't it, Blueberry? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's this Saturday, man. This Saturday? Yeah, this Saturday. Yeah, we got little Snoop mom, Mo three mom. Uh, we got Tupac's mom. Uh, we got uh Tarrant County juvenile judges. So uh, we, we're recreating a whole murder a murder trial. So we're getting all the components and the elements and the people from a murder trial. So uh. Yeah, it's gonna be powerful. So this will be the first time uh, Miss Dominique, which is Tupac's mom, uh, she's ever spoke to the hip hop community. So. You think you're gonna help stop future murders from happening? No, no, uh, nobody can. Uh, we're not God. Yeah, we, we can't. We just bring awareness or uh, help try to create alternatives and resources to the conditions that that's creating uh, doing this kind of violence. But you know, anybody stopping this? Has has any celebrity reached out to help? Uh, no, nah, they've never reached out to help. Uh, never throughout history have celebrities reached out to help uh, gun violence and crimes and murders in the black community, you know? Yeah, and I don't think they ever will. That's good. Yeah, it starts, it starts from the bottom up. They're up here. So the boots on the ground, the grassroots, uh, those frontline soldiers, on, uh, the people that will never know their names or the organization names, uh, they, they, they have the most impact. Oh man, man, Charles, I don't even know how long we've been doing this interview for, brother. Oh, uh, everybody's sleep except us. I know. Well, it's mm -hmm. cool. I ain't tripping. It's more money for me. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, should should Mexican uh should SBM fans want him free? Uh, did he rape a baby? I think he did. Oh, she is gone now. Yeah, she is They're like twenty. They're like been been a fan for like twenty years, still begging for, to release him. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We love child with us. Yeah, especially when they rappers or celebrities. But if it's just a regular guy who does that, then we'll we'll stay off with his head because it's our favorite celebrities, R. Kelly, uh Kobe Bryant, Tupac, Mike Tyson, uh, you know, all these guys, Ben Rosselberg, or uh, Lawrence <laughs> Taylor, uh yeah, you know, all these uh, uh uh Elvis Presley, you know, all these guys who've been accused of messing with children on uh we overlook them because they're celebrities. Uh me and you would never get that thing to down. Nigga, motherfucker, cute me and you mess up with a baby. Nigga, they're ashamed of us to death. Whether we done it or not, just the accusations will, will, will destroy us. So, uh, hey, if they love him, uh, free SPM. Uh, we just know, man, uh, you know, they said he done something horrific. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the internet has been saying Texas isn't part of the South. You say what? Uh, the internet has been saying Texas isn't part of the South. Oh. Uh, how far south can you go to Texas? You can get you can get to the border, you can get Mexico. Nothing in America is more southern than Texas. We at the bottom. Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, all these states at the bottom. Man, who farther south than us? If you go any further south, you leave America. Yeah. Yeah. So that would make sense. They must don't know geographical maps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They must don't know geographical maps, man. Uh, but why do you think old Mexican parents don't want their children uh, uh, dating people from other races? I don't know. What y'all mama tell y'all? They just say stay away from black folks. Yeah, you gotta go ask them. I don't know why they tell y'all to stay away from us. Let me tell it. <laughs> oh, shit, I don't even know why they would tell y'all that. Same reason our mama never tell us, man, don't be over with them people. Yeah, they don't know. They, they just don't, don't know. They yeah. scared of what they don't know. Yeah. Yeah, they can't give us no reason. They just said don't do it. Uh Marion Barber just died. Uh I know he played for the Cowboys. Um you ever you ever met anybody like you ever, you ever met anybody from the Cowboys? Yeah, I met a whole bunch of them niggas. <laughs> yeah, I met a whole bunch of them niggas. They didn't football player, dumb football player. <laughs> they don't. They don't help the community. Bunch of dumb football players. 
be a football player they know is big shit. Uh, I'm more of a revolutionary kind of guy. So athletes, singers, and rappers, uh, those are butterflies. The weakest motherfucking black people ever exist. Right. Tap dance and bow jangs and ass, white boy ass kisses motherfucker. How much ass you got to kiss to make it to the difference? You know what I mean? White boy dicks you got to suck. Not literally, but you know. You gotta do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta meet that white boy standards. Yeah, so no, nah, homie, I'll, not that I don't, I don't respect him, but uh, no, nah, women can't talk in my world. No, nah, they can't talk in my world, homie. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, let me, they on the gun line. I'm a runaway slave. Yeah, so uh, they got to stay away from me. Yeah, they won't get their chick. Uh, how do you think marijuana should be legalized in Texas with the Second Amendment still being strong? Oh, uh, I wouldn't give a damn. Uh, I've been smoking weed well. I don't care if they legalize it or not legalize it. I'm still going to smoke it. I ain't sitting around waiting for the white boy to make nothing legal. Yeah, yeah, no. Or uh, if I got a if I got a felony, I'm still gonna tote my gun. Yeah, I'm not celebrating Juneteenth today just because the white boy says it's a federal holiday. I don't celebrate it no more. Yeah, once they give me permission, I don't want to do it no more. Yes, yeah, so and now if they make it legal in Texas, I probably quit smoking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yesterday was Juneteenth. Did you do anything for Juneteenth, Charles? Nothing. Nothing. No, nah, I don't celebrate it no more. The white man made it legal. He made it his holiday. We don't make law. So when the white man say it's a federal holiday, that's not for us. That's for him. That's for him to make money now. Because now they're going to have all the Juneteenth stuff in the Walmart and in the store. And if you start sitting some now, nah, I, don't, I don't sell. I don't want nothing to do with it anymore. It ain't ours no more. Yeah, we were supposed to make up a day and say this is our holiday. And it ain't no federal holiday. It's a nigga day. We don't need you to close your banks. We don't need, no, we don't need you to recognize this day. We recognize it. And that's what makes it. That's the value of this day is we recognize it without your permission right now. So yeah, no, I don't fuck Juneteenth. Oh man, well, thank you, Charleston White, answering all my questions. Um, I'm gonna get you back on here, bro. Boy, so I get some more good wild. ideas. This nigga finna go viral. This nigga got some content out of this world. This is fresh <laughs> out the press. Ooh, we boy. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe, download, like, and yeah, sock it to his motherfucking pockets too, man. Yeah, don't be afraid of me. Yeah. All right. All right, well, thank you, bro. All right.